This is from Tom Knight again. Could you please ask Lee Priest what his opinion of Boston Lloyd is? Who's Boston Lloyd? <laughs> is that like Boston Legal, the TV show? Who is Boston Lloyd? Is he a guru, is he? Or do you know who Boston Lloyd is? You're laughing like you do. You, you, you Googled him, didn't you? He, he's, some, he's a 21-year-old fella that made a um, transformation or something, and now he's... Big, big and training people, so... Uh, well, I don't really know. I'll have to... Let me Google him and do a bit of research, and next time I come back, I'll give you my opinion, my honest opinion of Boston Lloyd. And do you feel these days with the internet um, that, you know, people can make themselves out to oh, be... Yeah, they are. You see it all the time, even with people who I've seen who know nothing about training, nothing about diet, they get a trainer to help them do a contest. They might do okay in the contest, some might win it, and they might not look great, but just because there's no real competition, they win it, or they might get second or third. And after that one show, they'll start a whole Facebook page or website, they're now trainers and nutritionists. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, the people come up to me sometimes, they say, Lee, you should be a personal trainer, go get your certificate. So I'm like, fuck off, what am I gonna do with a certificate? read a book to know how to do barbell curls or shit like that so yeah, everyone's an expert these days you see it all the time people but what I don't understand is though I see these people who are personal trainers or gurus for bodybuilding who give people diets drug programs training programs but the one who does that has somebody helping them so it's like but if you don't know what you're doing yourself how can you help others why are you seeing somebody if you're meant to know it all and you know how to get people in shape why can't you get yourself in shape? See? So, I don't get it. Pretty but, weird. Yeah, oh, there just seems now that you. But can... everywhere, like I said, people win one show and they're an expert, or I could I see people where, say, I say, here, Sam, here's a diet, follow this, and you find you lose a bit of weight. The next thing I know, hey, Lee, my friend, oh, yeah, he's home. he goes to Sam for his diets now. It's happened a bit. I've helped somebody out, give him a diet, and the next thing I know, other people go see the guy I gave the diet to because he's just giving them the same di <laughs> diet. So, and who would you say uh, you learnt the most about bodybuilding from, or is it just a case of over, over the years you've Pretty just much picked and, and error. Well, you can learn training techniques from different people, or like I said, but really bodybuilding itself, as far as dieting and eating goes, just you're going to try one diet. It might be high carb, low carb, high fat, low fat. You're just going to find what works for you. But the only way you can do that is. To just do it and try it. Look, I can't go to a guy and say, "Do me a diet." And he says, "Here, eat these carbs, eat this." When it might not work, where it might work in the beginning, but then, like I've even said, even my diets year after year. Last year at the universe, I looked really good, but if I did that same diet this year, I probably wouldn't look exactly the same. You always got to make adjustments. Whether eat more protein, eat less carbs, maybe eat more carbs. So that's why you, I've always said you see some guys going to a contest, they're super shredded. Next year, he's out of shape. You're like, why the fuck did you just follow the same diet? So. Yeah, you can, like I said, 95% of the time you can stick to the same diet, but you're always going to have some area where you've got to always make adjustments. Uh, but some people go from one extreme to the other, they'll be on a good diet, they'll look good in the last two weeks, they carb load or do something crazy and they look shit, so... And they just got to pretty much just go trial and error, really. So, like I said, after these guys, these gurus are just hit and miss, they're just experimenting. They'll say, here, try this, how do you look? Okay, that didn't work, maybe cut that back. So really, they're just experimenting with your body, which you can do yourself, so... That's why you give yourself plenty of time to diet for a show. And who are some of the people, um, well-known people that you've learned from? Just then you were showing us an exercise that from you learned Arnold. from Arnold, I Tom trained, Platts. I Tom Platts, I trained with Lou Ferrigno. I trained with a couple of pros over the years, like Paul and I had a few workouts, so you always learn different stuff. But even training, it's like trial and error too. You're just going to, what exercises work for you? Like some people love bench press, so I don't like bench press. And, some people like to squat, some people like leg press. They're always going to find the exercises that suit your body type, whether it be shorter or taller or different leverage movements where someone's going to be stronger on a different leverage movement to you. So just find what works for you and then stick to it. Yeah, it's good to try other stuff, you know, free weights versus machines. It's good to do both. So I just, you just got to really just learn what works for you. And but like I said, I always, like I said, I always listen to the older guys. Even Joe Gold used to show me different exercises. So and all those older guys, I'd always watch them. They're just, like I said, the good old basic stuff. Things about dieting, pretty much just got to learn it yourself. It's good to get input from other people too, but just see the source of that input where it's coming from. And 
as they're taken on board, you can, you know, so somebody might say do this and you might be doing your own thing and maybe you can use a little bit of what they told you and see how it applies to what you're doing. But like I said, just some of these people now to do it. I said they were just learning themselves a month ago and now they're telling people how to do it when they didn't know what they were doing. So just be careful out there. People just want to take people's money and like I said, now they're doing all this body fat. And I said, no, when you're on stage, no one cares what your body fat is, it's how you look. So go by the mirror. Don't worry about getting your body fat pinched. You can see if you're fat or ripped or shredded. Now they're doing all this new, like I said, from saliva or blood. You've got to eat accordingly to your DNA blood type. So if you're A type, you can't eat chicken or you can't eat fish. You've got to have more steak. So they're doing all this crap now. And like I said, back in the old days, we never did that. We all come in shredded. Guys look better back then than they do now. And now we've got more knowledge of supplements, more knowledge of food, more knowledge of drugs. But yet guys are looking shittier than they did back in the old days when they had the big, thick tons of muscle. They still got in good shape for dieting down for what they had and stuff like that. So. Like I said, all this knowledge that people have now and all the other shit they have, I don't think they're looking any better for it. They're just overcomplicating the whole thing. <laughs> and then, like I said, then someone's going to be there to take your money and go, oh, that could be a couple of thousand dollars for that. And like I said, you can do it yourself very basically.